A developing story in Moore County. Tens of thousands of people are without power after an alleged attack on two substations. Moore County is about an hour south of, Ra of Raleigh down US 1. Right now, it's reported about 33,000 customers are without power. Now, that's not people. That's homes and businesses. So the people suffering without power is actually much greater. And according to the US Census from last year, there are about 102,000 people who call Moore County home. So at least a third of the county has no way to heat their homes, power their refrigerators, charge their phones, or do any of the things that most of us take for granted. We kick off our live team coverage with Monique John. She joins us now with more on the impact of residents living there. Monique, good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm standing on West Monroe Street. That's a central seat here in Carthage where the courthouse is just steps away. And behind me, you can see that we've got traffic lights out here that aren't working. Of course, that's because of this ongoing power outage. Despite the power outage, however, people are still on the road. And for folks who could use something to eat and a place to be in community with others in this hard time, they're encouraged to come out to Limitless Meal Supply, a small business across the street from me here. And we spoke to the owner earlier this morning who explained that they're operating off of a generator so that they can make coffee and pancakes for the community. They're encouraging folks to stop by. They can come plug their phone in, have a hot cup of coffee, maybe some pancakes, bring their kids, they can run around um, and just somewhere that they feel comfortable. The owner told us that they've been out here working since 5 a.m. to provide food for folks, and they could be cooking dinner for people who could use a hot plate as well. We'll keep talking to folks out here about how they're coping with this power outage. In Carthage, Monique John, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. All right, Monique, thank you for that report. Now, officials say they've launched a criminal investigation into how and why the substations were vandalized. Elena Athens joins us now with what we're learning. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you. Yeah, we are at, outside one of those substations and there is an army here right now uh, trying to fix the damage, which is extensive. So let me step out of the shot, give you a live look at those efforts. Um, and one of the sites uh, that they are working on right now, we have seen uh, cranes inside the fenced in area as well as several workers, also sheriff's deputies walking around. Two substations were impacted by the targeted attack and the equipment needs to be replaced. The Moore County Sheriff was at a commissioner's meeting this morning. Not offering an update right now where that investigation stands, but we do know federal agents are in the area working in concert, not only with the sheriff's office, but also the power company. The Homeland Security uh, Secretary was briefed on the outages and is coordinating with the FBI. So this intentional attack this past Saturday has caused millions of dollars worth of damage and leaving thousands of residents without power or heat. Temperatures right now sitting in the low 50s. Investigators aren't sure of a motive, but are looking into a possible connection to an area drag show. There are a number of homes surrounding one of the substations. One resident didn't want to show his face or give his name, but he was willing to speak about the substation being shot up. Uh, it's scary, scary, you know, because what about if they decided, you know, they could have, a bullet could have gone like in a different direction and one of their kids to live, you know, uh, sometimes they're playing or running one of the kids could have get, or not just a kid, like one of us could have get shot. So we'll take you back live, give you another look at the restoration efforts. I did speak with Duke Energy Progress as there are thousands of people desperately waiting. An official says the company is working multiple repair paths. And last night, crews were able to restore power to about 7,000 customers. Uh, some more pockets, I'm being told, could be brought online over the next day. And the company is bringing in generators. Duke Energy says the majority of customers will see power again either Wednesday or on Thursday. So that is the very latest live here from Moore County. Elena Athens, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Right, Elena, thank you. And authorities are investigating if the vandalism is related to protests over a local drag show. On Saturday, a crowd with permits gathered outside the Sunrise Theater in Southern Pines to protest the show. Uh, supporters were there also. The theater lost power 40 minutes into the performance. The audience then used their cell phones to light the room. The headliner from the performance, Naomi Dick, says if the power outage is connected to her show, it will not, in her words, stop the message. 
this is a tactic. Um, if this is in fact something that is to target the queer community, and we don't know that as of yet, um, but if this is in fact something that will target or is targeting the queer community, what I say to my own community and its allies is that this is literally a uh, hidden agenda um, in order to scare us and to make us feel threatened so that we can be silenced. This is not a moment to silence yourself. This is a moment to speak up and speak out. Authorities say there's no evidence yet connecting the drag show and the attack on a power grid. Dick says she is focusing on helping victims affected and is working to start a GoFundMe. When asked about whether another drag show will be planned in Moore County, Dick says it's not a matter of if, but when. And an attack on the power grid using guns is not new. In February of this year, three men were convicted of plotting an attack on power grids across the United States. Their goal was to damage the economy and spark civil unrest. Back in 2013, gunmen shot up 17 electrical transformers in San Jose, California. That attack caused $15 million worth of damage, but it did not cause a widespread power outage like the problem we're seeing now in Moore County.